Well, we got him to hit the ground. <laughs> Video. Welcome back to episode four of weapon testing for 3.23's weapons. We're testing all the weapons. This will be the final episode of size one weapons. The final time we're driving the 85X. The final moment of the beautifulness of the 85X. It has been a great ride driving the 85X. It's, it, it's, it's, it's a wonderful ship, guys, and it deserves some love. It doesn't get enough love. It's a really good ship. So if you're looking for a cool little ship to fly... The 85, 85X is a cool, small, luxury ship that is a badass fighter, guys. It's basically a snub ship, but it has a quantum drive. So check it out if you want to. You guys know what to do. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell and all those other cool things. Thank you guys for all your love and support. We're here testing out all the weapons. Let's pull up the um spreadsheet we have for you guys this is going to be a longer one because we're going to be testing five-ish weapons i believe on this one here so let's get the excel sheet up for you guys so in the past episodes we tested ballistic cannons ballistic repeaters bl shotguns laser cannons that was the last episode we did we did laser cannons and of course we came up with the obvious answer that the omni skies and the n13s are the winners of that battle while the light strikes in the FL-11s did a very good job, the M3As do amazing damage, but they're not meant for slow ships, all of which kind of recharge at a slow rate. Today, we're going to be going over laser repeaters. And then after we do laser repeaters in the same episode here, we're going to do distortions. Okay, so we're going to do laser repeaters and the distortions all in this one episode to finish out the size one category. So today, we are starting with our attrition ones okay this is our first laser repeater we're going to be going with they have a 64 alpha damage shot they have um, a fire rate at 350 but only a thousand projectile speed that's a little concerning so we'll see how they perform um, i'm actually interested in these ones because we haven't i haven't used the attrition ones yet i've used the bulldogs already um, in the past of 3.23 but I have not touched these attrition ones at all, so I'm kind of curious to see how they perform. I'll see you guys when we get to the target. Until then, stay cool. Giving these attritions another chance. We'll give them one more chance because I, I think, uh, you know, the last fight was interrupted. So we'll give them one more chance or maybe we'll just scratch out the last part and this will be the real one. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get a little bit faster. Let's get in. We're really close to the ground. Be careful of that. I believe that's a bunker. Coming into the fight a little hot. We got a Mustang and a 315. So it's a little dark. A bit concerning is that a distribution center no that's not a district it's a it's an outpost it's an outpost okay so there's not a bunker there to worry about where's my freaking velocity there it is okay let's try to find my velocity vector it's just so quiet what are they shooting at they're shooting at somebody else's ship they're not even looking at me Listen, come fight me, dorts. Come fight me in my terrible attritions. I can't even see. All right, buddy. <gasps> That's the ground. That was the ground right there. Oh my goodness. We're alive. Just barely. Like I can't, I can't fill my ship. It just feels so weird right now. Okay, we finally got them to pay attention to us. But look at that, the attritions are so ass.
There we go. Land some shots, but we're we're in pain. They're continuously just pound. Oh my god, I'm frustrated right now. I'm tilted. We need to give the attrition a fair a fair sh chance. I need to get untilted. Hold on. Change the thought process. Everything it's gonna be all right. Let's get around him. Flip around. Prepare for the around shot. There it is. Okay, we're in here. That was good damage, right? Good damage, but we're up in his asshole. Basically. Contact. The recharge on this is way too slow. Contact. Took off a wing, sure. The recharge on this is way too slow. I'm full power to weapons the whole time. Ooh. We got him. It was a beautiful scene. Contact. The other target's still shooting at the. <laughs> I just can't control my velocity to save my life. Alright. Let's try this. Let's go into this mode here. There we go. Good shots there. We can see the ground much better in third person too. I almost feel well we're dead <laughs> good I don't want to do these laser repeaters I don't want to do them those are the hardest hitting ones those are the hardest hitting ones ah oh well so let's pull up the spreadsheet yeah That's, that's the wrong button. That's not the spreadsheet. <laughs> okay. Let's pull up the spreadsheet. Attrition's. It wasn't my... It wasn't the attrition's fault that I died. It was my fault that I died. It was third person's fault that I died. Let's blame third person. It was, it was the fact that I was third person. Trying to take fancy, beautiful shots for you guys. Um... No. No. They did okay damage for for repeaters, right? They had the biggest alpha damage. They had the most DPS. But no. I'm not shooting at a thousand velocity. That's not gonna happen. Don't want it, don't wanna do it. Recharge is bad. Like but am I going to like any of these others? I'm a little bit salty this episode, guys. I apologize. I apologize. Um, we're going to do Bulldogs next. Probably going to be even more salty with that all alpha damage. They, the silver lining is they fire at 1800 velocity speed. Um, so there's that. And then we're going to do the N NDBs, which will be nice. But uh, yeah. I'm actually, I can't wait to get to the distortions, but we're not there yet. Um, let's go get into Bulldogs. I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here back with the next weapon today, or now we are on the Bulldogs. Now we're on the Bulldogs with the, who? We're on the Bulldogs with the abysmal 18 alpha damage, right? So the, the Bulldogs only have 18 alpha damage. They do 225 DPS, but they have that really high projectile speed and a really high fire rate. Looking at the DPS of all the other guns in the entire list, they are on par with some of the, like they're the same damage as the cannons, according to this. I don't, I don't believe so, but they are. 
They're the same damage as the long swords and the tarantulas. I don't believe so, but okay. We'll find out. Let's get into it. Let's see how the bulldogs do. And let's have some fun doing it. Put the tilt aside. Let's have some fun. And kill Bloodsworth. Bloodsworth, today is your final day. You shall be no more, Bloodsworth. So, here's our bulldogs. We all know what bulldogs look like. We've used these things a thousand times, right? These are how the bulldogs fire. Fast. Wow. They were out of ammo quick. Holy shit. How come I can't fire anymore? What? I can't fire. Somebody send help. Contact. There we go. That was weird. Contact. I couldn't fire. Alright, so we're going to come at these guys first in normal view. They're, we got a Mustang Contact. Alpha, a Reliance, and... Or is it Delta? Mustang Delta. So two Reliance and a Mustang Delta. I just got torn alive. I'm still getting torn alive. What is going on? I'm not even, I'm not ready. Holy cow. I'm still getting shot. Bro. You want to go? Holy shit. Holy shit. What are these AI on right now? Hold on. Dude. All right. Look at that. Like, those shots had to land, right? Okay. See, the thing with the bulldog, or the repeaters, is I have to stay, like, power to weapons. I can't do power to shields the whole time because they just don't recharge fast enough and there's not enough bullets in the capacitor like that felt good there we go all right man these guys are on my ass though Double Mustang. Watch out for Mustangs. These things are dangerous. AI Mustangs? They dangerous. We gotta put some maneuvers on these guys. <laughs> I just can't do it, guys. Third person is just... Here we go. It's just a shot. <laughs> that was gorgeous. Until we die because of it. Go. Bro. OK. 
Can I get shields up, please? Oh my god! AR is just too good! You know what? I'm not mad at the Badgers. You know why? Because they land shots. The Badgers land shots. Dude, I, just, I can't fly third person with, with pedals. It just don't work. Listen to that. <laughs> That's wild. And how is he not dead? I just put a whole capacitor into him. There's no way, man. All right, that was better. That was better. What's up, Alex? How you doing, buddy? All right. Hmm. Let's pull the spreadsheet. Yeah. Why do I keep clicking the wrong button? There we go. All right, Bulldogs. Big capacitor. I don't know how to spell capacitor. Let's call it big magazine. Okay. Um, they're okay. Eh. Let's move on to MB, MBD 26s, huh? MBD 26s. They're the mid range. Solid. Solid alpha damage. Good projectile speed. Let's see how they do. I'll see you guys when we get there. Back. This is our NDB testing. We are doing the blue pew pews. And um, I shared this with the live stream bunch, but I'm going to share it with the YouTube crowd now that we're recording for um look at the dps and look at the dps they're the same dps as the omni skies so maybe maybe these are the repeaters we've been waiting for maybe it's the heroes the repeaters needed maybe it's the repeaters that we needed hey mr revenge gifting membership as well Hey, thank you, thank you, Mr. Revenge. Hey, Indrid Cold, you are now a member. I feel like you were a member before, too. Maybe you gotta spread the love. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for spreading the love. Let's jump into SCM speed. Put power to Pew Pews. 31 shots in this capacitor. Let's see how these babies look. Look at that. And that's non-staggered, right? Non-staggered. Let's see what they look like staggered. It kind of looks the same. <laughs> I think these are the repeater heroes we needed, guys. I think these are it. Oh, shit. I did it again. The Excel sheet is up. You guys can't see. <laughs> That's what I mean. Look at the pew pews. <laughs> shh, shh, we knew that. It's for the YouTube video. <laughs> 
Look, pew pew. These are the repeaters that we needed. <laughs> All right, what do we got? An Avenger Renegade. And a... And a... M50. Okay. Avenger Renegade and an M50. Let's do this. All right. These are the pew pews we needed, guys. Here it comes. The same DPS as the Omni Skies. Can they perform just as good? Let's get in there. I'll give him a fair chance by running non third person mode for this first attack. Get in up behind the guy. And there it is. Solid damage. Shields are down already. We're on this guy's tail. We are riding him. There it is. There it is. The blue pew pews are strong. Look at that. I believe. The blue pew pews are strong, guys. I believe these are the heroes we needed in the repeater land. Look at that. It's going to be a little bit harder to hit the M50, of course. But that's okay. I'm a professional. It's okay, guys. You guys just wanted to see the Excel sheet a little bit longer. That's all it was. Keep his shields down. Keep his shields down. Flip him around. Make sure he's in range. Okay. Can we get a little third-person action? Oh, yeah! Woohoo! Guys, this was not very big testing. You want to know why? Because those things were monsters. They were monsters, my dudes. So, with the Excel sheets flipping aside, that was a three minute recording of just straight monsterism. All right, guys. So, they're probably not as good as the Omni Skies because they have the issue still, right? That they're repeaters and you have to land more shots to do the same amount of DPS as the Omni Skies. So, they have that issue, okay? So let's pull back up the Excel sheet to uh, finish up these repeaters. But they were okay. Okay, recharge. They recharged better than the Omni Skies. Let me let me let me leave that moat. Let me let me they they recharge better than the Omni Skies. Okay, so they recharge better than the Omni Skies. The DPS is not, well, the, the alpha DPS obviously is not the same because obviously the alpha DPS on these is 36 compared to the Omni Skies of 120. So huge difference there. But your fire rate and the amount of shots you're landing, they, they're they good. These guys are potential, potential. And, and these guys are winners. I think they work. So, low key guys, NDBs, low key, might be pretty solid, just like the Omni Skies. The Omni Skies are still probably better, so don't just so don't 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 go putting on your MVDs and saying you're gonna win every fight in the world. But they did great. There was very limited testing, but the testing we did test right there, they did great. Um, we're gonna move on now to finish off this episode with distortions we got two more guns two more size one guns to do the distortions we're not going to be able to kill things but we're going to see how fast we can shut them down so let's go pull out some distortion guns and i'll see you guys when we get there first we're going to start off with the dr model xj1 the repeater we're going to do the repeater first because we just did a bunch of repeaters so we're going to stay on the repeater train and then we'll swap over to the cannon sound good see you guys when we get there real quick we are doing the distortion guns the dr model xj's that's what we're doing um kind of already sort of maybe possibly in combat so we're gonna real quick show you guys that um and then get into it taking off the excel sheet here it is right here these are the shoes the, the pew pews let's see if we can kill them or disorder them and make them fall to the uh, moon and die oh 
he kind of ran away from us. I guess we have some breathing room. But anyways, here's the pew pews. And then we put them on the stagger mode. And there's the pew pews some more. I think it has more coverage with stagger mode. Just because of their fire rate. So we'll we'll do stagger mode. And we'll see if we can distort these guys. First test on distortion weapons. Here we go. Sorry for the quick in there. I accidentally came into the target prematurely. Well, I was making sure that I was actually making sure the target was there because I didn't actually have its marker. Turns out it was there. Do distortions not do damage to shields at all? I don't know. The server seems to not be running very well. There's lots of desync happening. Right? I'm not going crazy. There's lots of desync happening. Uh, yep. Definitely lots of desync happening. Well, our testing was going great. And now it just seems to not be possible. Is his shields dropping at all? Can, can we tell that his shields are dropping at all? My shields are dropping. I think distortions are just no-go's. At least full distortions, you know what I mean? You might need to bring a package deal to use distortions. Because look, those all landed, right? Like, those shots all landed there. I know they nerfed how much damage distortions do to shields, but I didn't think it was, like, to that extent. Not a single red on him. And then we got this cutter. Apparently is hitting us even though he's not shooting in our direction. Shields went down hardly. Welcome back, Hopeless. Distortions are a no-go without having other weapons to help take down the shields. Because he doesn't seem to be desyncing that hard. Oh, there we go. Hold on, hold on. We have potential. Hold on. Don't give up yet. But definitely you need other guns to help you with the distortion. Definitely. 100%. But once you get the shields down, they probably get distorted decently quick. Right? Maybe. Hopefully. At least. Alright. His shields have got to be down, right? How's his EM signature? Ah! Come on, ship. Hold, hold, hold it. Nope, the shields are coming back up. Okay, his EM is up and down, up and down. You see it? EMs are up and down. He's 
looking a little disordered. I think we might have got him. Is he still flying? It looks he looks like he's not flying anymore. He looks donezo. If you ask me, that's that's a disordered cutter. So it did fairly quickly disorder him after we got the shields down. But it man was it a pain to get those shields down. Because I'm still getting shot by the razor. So we're trying to see if this cutter's gonna die hitting the ground. He did not die hitting the ground. Did he hit the ground? He did not die hitting the ground. All right, let's try this razor again. Like we're landing shots on him. Man. A little itty bitty razor. We're just not landing enough shots on him because he's so small. Shields are going to recharge already. There's no way we're going to be able to destroy this razor. He's too quick. He's too quick. Look at him go. Well, we got him to hit the ground. <laughs> so, I mean, that works. <laughs> well, 70% reduction to distortion against shields. Yeah, so definitely, definitely 100% need to run other weapons with you if you're going to run distortions so let's pull up the script the spreadsheet on that let's pull it up real quick so you guys can see i've already marked it on here but i think the uh dr model xj1s i think they actually did pretty good they have good recharge i think they did pretty good um but you definitely need support weapons when you're using distortions you need to have laser you need to have laser guns with them in order for the distortions to actually work because you got to get through those shields with a 70% reduction that distortions do to the shields. You need to have that support help in the beginning to make these distortion guns any good. So we're going to go and try out the sucker punches one last go and uh, then that'll be the end of this one. See you guys when we get there. We're on our very last gun, the Sucker Punch Cannon Distortion Gun. Since we did all four XJ1s, we're just gonna run all four Sucker Punches and just roll with the punches, no pun intended, for our final gun of size ones. The final time we're gonna be flying the 85X. This gun has 90 alpha damage, so hopefully it'll do better than the XJ1 did against the shields. 
Let's check it out. Let's see how good this distortion is. Sadly, we're going to be in an asteroid field. And we have to deal with that as an obstacle as well. Meaning that when we distort the ship, it's not going to fall to its death. So we're just going to have to know that we disordered it and call it GG we win, right? But that's okay. Let's fly in and get a little bit closer to our target before we go into um, SEM mode and show you the guns themselves. So let's go ahead and go into SEM mode now. The sucker punches have much less in their capacitor. Even at full weapons, it is still only... 13 bullets are we in staggered mode let's take it off staggered mode and shoot now Ooh, ooh! they look so cool though look at the way those like guns rotate like you look at that you see how like those things rotate on the guns that's so cool all right let's do staggered mode real quick as we're getting closer to our targets all right so we're obviously going to do staggered mode it's going to be better but that's cool. These weapons are pretty cool. All right, so what do we got? We got a cutter. The cutter was easy to sort an 85x. Oh my gosh. And a hawk. Wow, that's that's a lot of firepower to be honest. Oh, the hawk's got distortions. You see that? Or maybe maybe it's the just blue repeaters. But knowing that it's the hawk, it's probably got distortions, right? Because by default, the hawk comes with distortions. We're already taking massive damage from the fellow opponents. We're gonna have to get out of here. My goodness, dude. Dude, like I can't even escape them. I can't escape them. Like that 85X. Can't even escape them if I want to. But AI are here to play. All right. Should we try to get the 85X out the way? It doesn't matter because we only have distortion guns. So we can't even kill them. All right, who's coming at us? They're all coming at us. The hawk's shooting at us. We'll do what we can. Like I said, distortions need support weapons. So when we do the size two comparison, we're gonna use other laser guns on top of the distortions to, to help us take down shields. Because as you can see, the shields do not come down when you're using only distortion guns. It's just too little damage. You can see that the shields are starting to come down But you have to keep constant pressure to even start making that dent. And by the time you're recharging your guns, their shields already start to be coming back up. So it's really a struggle, especially if you can't keep a straight line on them. Here we go. We got a really good, really, really, really good lineup on shots there. Really good lineup on shots here again. Try to keep the pressure on. Make sure we get a few shots in to stop his shields from recharging. We got to make sure our shields come up. Really good, really good pressure here. Let's make sure we get in. Keep the pressure up. Okay, we're almost through his shields. Our shields are down. Keep the pressure up. Keep the pressure. Okay, his EMs are dropping. He's not quite disordered yet. You can see his EM dropping. Keep the pressure. 
I think we got him. I think we got him. Too bad he's not going to blow up, though, right? You see his IR has dropped completely. So we got him. And I really think the Sucker Punch is definitely were better. So what we could do... If he wasn't moving, we could, like, EVA and shoot the pilot. But that's not the case. He is clearly moving. I gotta just land all these shots on the cutter. Even with him being so far away. Under Stinking cutter's just too easy to hit. Just put in the work on the cutter, man. It's so easy to hit the cutter. I think we already disordered the cutter. He's already out. I think he's already out. I like these sucker bunches. They're really cool. Okay, he's definitely out now. He's definitely disordered now. All right, cool. Cool. And the Hawk is still down. Let's see if we can get the 85X down, too. There's no way we can hit them, hit him from this far away. So let's wait till we get closer. Wait till we get closer. Start firing now, sure. Okay, get in good range now. Good range, good range, good hits. Stay on, stay on them. 85X versus 85X. Stay on them, stay on them. Look at that. Oh yeah. I know I'm not giving any third person views, but when you're running the distortion shots, you have to make sure that you're landing your shots. That's what I'm doing, guys. I'm making sure I'm landing. He's way out there. We got to get in on him. Contact. All right. All right. Let's go. These sucker punches are putting in work. Contact. I think we're about to get him. Oh no, 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 don't you dare. I got him. He's done. He's done. Look at him. He's done. Good job. Woohoo! Let's go, sucker punches. Is the hawk up yet? The hawk is still disordered. Alright, 85X. You've done your job. You've done your job. 85X has completed its journey. It has done its job, ladies and gentlemen. Let's pull up the Excel sheet. Pull it up. The Distortion 85X, the Sucker Punch, it did its job. It's a beast. It's a beast. Caps locks intended. It's a it's a W. Solid. Solid all around. It still needs support. It still needs support. That's a key note here. The distortion of weapons still need support, but for the most part, beautiful stuff beautiful stuff that's going to be the end of this episode guys of size ones in general that's the end of the 85x thank you guys for all your support you guys know what to do smash that like button leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already next time we do weapon testing we're going to be testing size two weapons i think the hawk is up and alive 
We're going to be doing size 2 weapon testing next. So stay tuned for that. The hawk is up and alive. Let's shut him back down. Or die trying. I think we got him again already. I was going to go out in a blaze of glory. So that's why I wanted to shut him down again. Anyways. Say goodbye to the 85X. Say goodbye to size 1 weapons. Real quick. I forgot to mention while I had the thing up. I probably should have while I had the thing up. Right? Um, while I had the thing up. Let's pull it back up for just a second, guys. We like the tarantulas. Tarantulas are good. The buzzsaw, really great. Of course, the Onetskis and the N13s, really, really good, right? Then our surprise hero, NDBs on the repeaters. Just wanted to mention that. Now, to end in a fire fits a blazing glory. Goodbye, 85X. This is the end. Woo! No? We didn't blow up. Ah! Oh, we got him! Victory. <laughs> Blazing glory of the 85X.